Hello guys, welcome to a very interesting and very experimental uh, Let's Play. I'm probably not going to do a whole series because this is a pain to set up, believe me. As you can see, the uh, the if I end up using the, the, the camera, uh, I am sitting at a very weird angle because we got the aim controller. Uh, I am a sucker for all things VR, as you may know. And uh, I saw this game, Farpoint. That's the game we're playing a little bit today. I saw it, that it was out. I had heard a lot about it. And um, for some reason, I like, like a, a lot of people, I think, we assumed it was going to be a bad game. Because it's like VR is still in its infancy, and it's just... I really hope that it takes off but fact of the matter is is that we're just uh, it, we're, we're still in its infancy but apparently it's uh, it's really good so I saw it I wanted to buy it, it was sold out so I got it uh, online and uh, here we are yeah cool story bro in any case I uh, thought we uh, we'd give it a try I, I hope everything works like I said this is uh, our recording space is not made for VR uh, with all like m lots of moving around and setup and whatnot, so we'll uh, we'll we'll see if it works. But first, let's do some setup. It seems like it's recognizing. Uh, I don't know. I hope you can all uh, see this. Yeah. Okay. This should be uh, this should be good. So here we go. If you are left or right we got we got the uh, the gun. I am right handed. Oh Just God! Right. How, how tall you I don't know how tall I am in 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 freedom speak. I always forget. I'm yeah. Okay, so the grid is very low. Adjust the height. I am 197 centimeters. I think I think I'm six foot seven or something. Oh, here we go. Feet centimeters. There we go. Nope. Adjust the height to match oh, there we go. There are. we go. Yeah, that's me. Confirm. They uh, said this was for added realism. The following steps will confirm that you are positioned correctly within the tracking area. Yeah, I don't think I am. This shape represents the tracking area of the camera. Okay. The PlayStation camera tracks the VR headset and PlayStation VR aim controller. That's pretty cool. To play Farpoint, you must be within the tracking area. If the controller or the VR headset go outside of the tracking area, they cannot be tracked. If you get near the edge or the tracking is lost, yes. this shape will appear in game to okay. guide you back yeah, to Okay, yeah, that's position. stuff we already know. I'm sitting at a bit of an angle. Incorrect position. Logo on the ground. Yeah, I was afraid of that. <gasps> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick. That should be, yeah, that should be slightly. <laughs> it's <laughs> gorilla game gaming right here. What? Oh, it's having a. This is not going to be ideal. So just a fair warning. I'm like in the door frame. <laughs> All right, options. I don't remember which one that was. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm pushing. Pushing the cable to the to the very limit, pushing that over the line. I don't know my Star Trek quotes very well. Let's turn this up a little bit. Hello. Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Hello. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional T-shirt and socks. I'm in yes. a spacesuit. And that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. It's a bit on the nose, would you say? It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch, 
that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observe that goes without saying, of course. Yes. Particles all the way up. All the way. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> Very you know, difficult words. Space on my resume. <laughs> it really was. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe feel that the screen is radiation. coming closer and closer. The radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy. Her face is a little bit creepy, but no. his face is very nicely animated. I think it's her eyes. They're, they feel slightly off. The Wanderer. Named after the poem. The Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV space, camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. Hello. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Where? There we go. I don't see it. Oh, that is, uh... <laughs> that is interesting looking. Yeah, that would worry me a little bit. There we go! Oh, hello! Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Can't move my hands, though. Ah, the damn cord! What? Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Oh, okay. We engaged. we are in the in the Thank you, spaceship. Good. This is really annoying. The the cable it, it it just doesn't really go anywhere properly. But uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're gonna need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. Yeah, this this kind of shit. Space I'm space is what VR is made for, man. That's wait, pretty wait. cool. I think it's still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. I can't. I wish I could touch everything, but I cannot. Command, any different on your end? This is command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. No sync. I trust that's not a bad thing, is it? Hello. No, no, it's Are all those lights like rooms? What the fuck? Suits, we can just open the airlock manually and boost over the to program, yes. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. Okay. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you we wouldn't want that. That is not a useful question here. Is that my airlock system? God damn it, fucking cable! Let's try this. Maybe, maybe this will work better. Let's take a walk. Roger, holding position. Where are you coming from? Are you gonna be that fast that you're already oh okay. what the fuck is that? Oh that's part of that. Where? Oh there! Let's see if we can uh No, no gun. Very uh, rem uh this cockpit reminds me a lot of uh, Dead Space. Yeah. But for all the playground teasing. Oh the moving moving the aim controller and uh, close to my VR goggles messes with it a little bit, it seems. Oh, not so much now. Oh. What the hell is that? That is interesting. Well, that's probably not good, is it? Sucks. 
I, I don't think I'm just sitting here with my with my hand up my ass. Am I boosting backwards or something? Status. Come to me. Come to me. Come. Well, sucks to be you. And possibly me. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this is probably not very good. That rock is coming very close. Oh, okay, it wasn't a rock. Bye. Oh, shit. I am braced. One kilometer. Oh, this is gonna suck. Huh, isn't that bad. And luckily, I probably come equipped with a gun for some reason. Cass. Oh. Location report now. Yeah, there's a gun there. Yeah, I'm definitely sitting way too low. But... Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen. 2% oxygen. 12% helium. Warning: 63% unknown elements. We're gonna be superheroes, I think. That's how this works, right? Yeah. Move forward. Yeah, so there's a stick here. Can I turn? Bye. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, this is... This is... Fucking crazy. It's the kind of stuff that. Pilgrim, this is Wander. Come back. I always wanted to. I say again, this is Wander Actual. Pilgrim, do you copy? That I always wanted to try as a kid. That works. One handed. I don't know how to reload though. to understand what they're saying, but I, I take it it wasn't going very well. sure that I was supposed to go out yet or leave yet from that location but there is definitely something there I don't really like sitting with my back to the door frame but ah Jesus hello that's my that's my Aeroplane, space plane. Oh, there's there doesn't seem to be an easy way. There's uh, a stick here and this stick, but I can't use it to turn for some reason. So oh. 
Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Buttons don't work. Maybe I can go there? Yes, I can. So I guess I'll have to turn a little bit. You really have to use your body to turn, it seems. Or your gun. It's a strafe. Let's see. Creepy looking cave. Hold on. Assault rifle. Oh! Is that what it is? Okay. That's the heat gauge. Alright. I see. And we don't have to reload. What happens if I do this? Oh! <laughs> I think I actually damaged myself. Oh no. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, this is Wanderer. You copy? Yeah! Life on other planets. Shoot it! Uh, there's another looking sky there. Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. La la la! Hold on, I'm gonna adjust the the camera real quick because it keeps telling me it, I'm too low. I wonder if this should be a little bit better. But it's still giving me a little bit of trouble. I I am really rather annoyed though that we that we can't turn. That does not seem what is this? Oh shit, no, I don't wanna. No turn, well, there we go. Turn speed, yeah. So this is like, um... there we go. So this is like with uh, Resident Evil, I'll sh I should put it the small step. Because that is big, there we go. Yeah, so just like with Resident Evil, um, seven, which I do want to finish, don't worry. I know it's been fucking forever, uh, but I am planning on finishing it. Oh, it's to uh, make sure you don't get sick. That looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that looks pretty amazing. Uh, and those are, I think those are like uh, uh, the little asteroids or um, like uh, a belt. I don't know all the, the technical terms. The ring? I don't know if, it hasn't gotten much better though. God damn it, should I try to stand Hold on one second. All right. <laughs> Nonchalant, nonchalantly leaning on, on the door frame, but this does seem to be at least a little bit better. I'm actually, you can't see it of course because of the glasses, the goggles, but I'm actually squinting with one eye. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So let's try this for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, so pro, pro tip, if you live in a tiny apartment, PSVR probably, or VR in general, probably isn't going to be super comfortable. Luckily, we do have a big house that we are in now. It's just that our recording setup is just so that uh, we don't have that much space. So far, so empty. Oh yeah, what did... did this is like a scanner. It seems like I'm still a bit too low. What the fuck? Oh, hello. Scan. 
Ah, I see. Yes. Are you alright? It feels weird to have my arm here, but not have it here. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. They're alive. Somewhere. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you. I am so warm, I could just feel sweat trickling inside my goggles. One second, while I try a final reset of the camera. Alright, yeah, this is way better. Alright. So, yeah, I, I because I was just trying to record and trying to stay in the in the tiny area it uh, took me a while to get it just right but uh, now now I think I'm like at exactly the proper height and I'm not hitting the box at all so let's see what we got on this desert planet with blue magma volcanoes or lava I don't know I never know which is which Lava is when it's no magma is when it's still molten, right? I think. Well, let me know because I don't know. Hello. Hello. Oh, that is, is a there? beastie. Is it? This looks like a, a, a beastie skeleton. It's so weird that you can actually, the precision of aiming. I hope it stays this way, like during actual gunfights. But it's, uh, it's taken a while to get to the action. I saw something there, I think. Was something moving? Perfect place for an ambush. There, there's something there. Hello. Oh, spidery shit. Yeah, I don't think so. First contact, my ass. Yeah, that's the other thing that I'm wondering. How? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, that is not nice. <laughs> that is way more in your face <laughs> than it should be. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, you know it's VR, and you know what they're gonna do, and still, it's kind of freaky. No? No other takers? Yeah, I, I've been wondering if, if shooting from the hip, if there's any aim assist. Because it would seriously up the, uh, up the difficulty if there isn't. Although, having um, basically unlimited ammo allows you to kind of aim as you're shooting, I suppose. No. Guess. Log this. Locate and scan hey. all fragments. I'm a vacuum cleaner. There we go. This place is incredible. Why didn't they get killed? I that G here is not a constant. You can actually feel gravitational variances. They must be swaying from eight or nine to like six. Watch your suit on those rocks. We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. But yeah. Reach. Well, I'll just shoot things. That works. Seems to work pretty well. Oh, they're still talking. We have to keep moving. Hello. I wonder how they record all this, considering the fact that there supposedly are no cameras around here. Yo! Impact crater. Behind me? 
Yes, behind me. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't fucking think so. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is not okay. <laughs> also, there is a cat like right next to me who I think is probably freaking out a little bit now. Please don't brush up against my leg as as there's a, as a spider is jumping. There, there we go. Ah. Yeah. So I don't think there's aim assist, but overall it seems to be doing fine. Oh, you want to go outside, cat? There you go. Go. Yeah. There we go. Something brushes up against my leg now. <laughs> I will. You really fucking freaked out. Um, I hope it's not just spiders because these things. I I usually don't have a, an aversion to spiders, but seeing them fly at you like that is very unpleasant. I must say. Bye. Is he is he gone? Don't want to take any fucking risks here. I think he jumped in. I'm really expecting to be ambushed any minute now. There we go. Damn it. I feel you kind of lose some oversight if you just go for the. for the reti reti not reticule, the. <laughs> the reticle? Alright. It, it. I've. I want to see some uh, some some other aliens. Let's let's do some actual back and forth shooting. Scan all fragments. Yeah. I say again, Pilgrim. Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. The signal needs more power, even without the death storm. I'm getting a low level reading over in that direction. Over there. No, I'm not. I just came from the other side, dude. Hard to be sure. Maybe we should stay put. Yeah, maybe you should. Okay, no, look at me. We have enough emergency rations to get us anywhere the pilgrim is. We are not staying here. Survivors keep moving, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, how they are not eaten by spiders at this point, I do not know. But uh, more power to them, I suppose. Also, in case uh, you were wondering, <laughs> this is—it it is uh, like summer here now in Japan. Oh, this is going to be shitty. This is going to be spiders all up in my face, isn't it? No, oh. I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for some cool alien back and forth shooting. I didn't sign up for fucking spiders. What are you? Cass, make sure you log all this. Recording. Yeah, it's uh, we have the aircon, the air conditioning on in this room, but uh, I feel a little breeze on my legs. That's about it. I am sweating. It is very warm in here. No skittery sounds yet. So that's good, I suppose. They really are taking their time. Oh, hello. Yeah. I don't think I appreciate this. They're gonna explode, huh? Yeah, alright. Keep those guys far away. Oh.
Make some nice mushy sounds. Hmm. So I wonder if this is first contact. I think so. No one seems to be. I saw you there, you little shit. No one seems to be all that amazed by the fact that we're not alone in the universe. Well, as long as I can keep those guys at a safe distance, they're. I do not think so. them but ah oh, that sucks oh okay I think what oh walking back disoriented me a little it's nice to that's actually nice to be able to kind of lean walking back is a bit disorienting so before ah, I'm hunching too jeez on oh, my back I wonder if there's collectibles or something in this game. I heard it's pretty linear. Put the controller over the ammo to pick it up. Oh. Over the ammo? But we have Put the controller infinite over ammo. The ammo to pick it up. Rocket ammo. Targeting rocket laser. The UEP assault rifle has an integrated guided rocket launcher. Use the targeting laser to guide the rockets to the designated target. I think. I assume it's this button. There's no button like where the, where they're pointing. Yeah. Okay. Press so. the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. Say cheese. Oh, it doesn't go that far. Say cheese again. That works. Let's conserve some ammo where possible. Uh, more are coming down. Don't you fucking attack me from the. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I saw you. Nope. Oh, shit. No, 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 not you. Not you, you little shits. No! Oh shit, I'm out! I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, I wonder... Yeah, definitely, I'm definitely out. Hee <laughs> Well, at least they're staying up there. Let's pick them off. Oh. Hey, you dead? That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now, I'm not feeling as... Okay, that is weird. Oh, my, my hands have come loose. Look at the shadow. My hands are coming off. All right, the shadow's a little bit weird, but uh, other than that, can I go up here? Yeah. Other than that, I'm not getting like motion sick or anything. I guess I can go up here, huh? Let's just continue down here. I think I already see a little something something down there. Can we no. Come on. You crash landed. You can't take a little a little tiny hill. A slope. 
going to be surrounded. There we go. Yes, I am sort of surrounded. So let's take care of this guy first. Not that good yet. Sweat is literally streaming down my face at the moment. Come on. That's the big downside of VR, especially in Japanese summer. Even with the air conditioning on. But yeah, I must say that it works really rather well for, you know, being being a gimmick, uh, a peripheral, sort of a dirty word in, uh, in gaming. Partial data recovery complete. Where? Holographic files are available to view. Okay, where? Playback. All recovered files. Oh, I think that was... <sighs> I think that was level. Jeebus. I should drink some water. POV cam. Moon grant. Oh, here we go. Is it the pilgrim? I, I'm moving as no. Dr. Moon. No, but it's a piece of it. But I can't move. Broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we I'm Dr. Moon. I'm going, I'm going crazy all of a sudden. Hello? Anyone inside? Oh, so this is the whole spaceship that got sucked in the well. Yeah, just open it, why don't you? Come on. The people that are in there, I'm sure they don't need air to breathe. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Pretty. Shelter. Battery packs. What, what am I now? We can use these to boost our signal. I'm just you floating in midair, I guess now. I'll patch into the comms unit. Well, yours, Dr. Moon. So Okay, so we have to go to the space station. Hey, something weird here. What? Still day one. These batteries. They're all at 1% power. That's plenty. 1% is enough for six months. Yeah, 1% is I enough don't... for six months? Hello? Some good batteries. Nope. Oh. Alright. Probably a shit ton of EMR out here. How do we contact anyone? We keep trying. Survivors keep moving. Yeah. Except we're gonna stay here now. I think. Just gonna assume that the Pilgrim. pilot's dead, I guess. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Hello. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. So now it's time to Mad Damon this shit up and start pooping out some uh, some potatoes. We need to take a break. We're going for an hour. Here, it's the last one for my soup. Some kind of strawberry goo. So was that necessary, dude? Really? Everyone is taking this very, very well, by the way. That's it. Me. When the Pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the Pilgrim crashed. So, look, I'm a bit confused on the terminology still. Are you sure about this? Not very. But it's what we got. We have all the trailer debris. 
You keep trying the radio. Are you just are you outside? Are we expecting company? Bye. Now she has a gun too. Where the fuck do these people get all these guns? I don't think NASA is sending anyone up in space with fucking assault rifles. Alright. But, we've been going for a while. And I do not, I did not intend to uh, play this uh, game fully uh, on the channel. I just wanted to give a little bit of a first impression and oh god sweet release holy shit it's fucking whole it's the water works in here i got to find a towel it is warm oh but having said that it is pretty cool it's done quite well actually uh not really any motion sickness yet so uh, to speak of um, so yeah, I see that my battery's running out, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, follow the podcast, Game Honey. I will definitely be talking uh, about this game a little bit more on the podcast, so be sure to check in. And uh, thank you guys for joining. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.